Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Why is the room green? Today I'm going to be talking about my top five favourite all-time songs and already we've got a problem. The issue is my favourite song list changes like the wind because I will listen to other songs that I'll go, oh that's great and then I will go off them and then I'll go on to another load of songs. It's just, yeah, it's just a bit hit and miss really when it comes to my music taste. I mean, you could say that, or you could say a complete and utter bag of wank. But I'm going to be doing this, not regularly, because that would... Boy, it's tears. But every now and again, I will do a top five favourite songs at the moment. So yeah, let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. Are we on some fucking cookery show or something? So at number five right now... We have Charlemagne by The Blossoms. I just think it's a really upbeat, but chilled sort of song. It's got a really good balance going on there. Yeah, cool, chill, yeah. Unbelievably, it's fairly modern. It's only four years old, and I think it's an absolute banger. I've been listening to it quite a lot recently. It's just perfect. And I, whenever I listen to it, it reminds me of another song called Kids Charlemagne by Steely Dan. That's another one of my favourite songs. But not right now, because I'm not listening to it. See, you see how confused I get, and how confusing it probably is for you. I... The white van's outside to take you away, Tom, come on. Like that with different songs. I just go in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out all the time. Sounds weird looking back. Very annoying, especially for you. Imagine what it's like for me. Does anyone have Broadmoor's phone number? Because I seriously need to be taken to a mental hospital. In at number four, we have Grace by Jeff Buckley. Now, for those of you that did GCSE music with me back in 2015-16, we had to study this song and I really liked it back then and I hadn't heard it for a while and I listened to it again and I thought, blimey, that's bloody good. Help, I need somebody. It's a, quite a dark song, mind you, De Jeff Buckley. A lot of his songs quite, sound quite down. A bit like that. You can tell the sadness and the tragedy in his voice. But at the same time, it's quite a motivational song because of the beat to it. It's quite an irregular, an irregular... Come on, GCSE music thing! Time signature, that's the word. Took me a while there. It's been a while since I've studied music. The album Grace was released in 1994. And, of course, that was the year that Jeff Buckley has unfortunately passed away. In at number three... Don't worry, it's not buffering. I'm just very thick. Don't know if any of you will have heard of it. My older viewers will. I don't think anyone else will have, though. Let's just go with it. In at number three, we have The 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky. Hey there, lonely No wonder you're bloody single. I just think it's an absolutely brilliant piece of music. It starts off very quiet and quite sad. It was composed to reflect on the Russians' defence against the Napoleonic... I got a B at history at GCC and I got a C at music at GCC and then got a C in history at A-level. You wouldn't think it, would you? I'm going to have to read this off the thing because I can't memorise it. It was... This is painful now. People will be turning over to watch Zoella at this point. Are you struggling? Yes, I am struggling. It was made to commemorate the successful Russian defence against Napoleon's invading Grande Armée. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's an absolutely brilliant piece of music. It's appeared on Last Night at the Proms, all of those, very famous piece if you're into classical music. The problem with classical music is you either love it or you hate it. I really do like it, but I do have to be in the mood. And if I'm not in the mood, I just think, Turn off that shite. But it's a brilliant piece of music. And if you are in a bit of the mood for a bit of classical, <laughs> it's a really good piece of music to go for. At number two, we have Lady Eleanor by Lindisfarne. Now, this is a shout out to my good old dad for introducing me to Lindisfarne and this song. 
I love this song. I, I think it's going to be one of my favourites for a long time. Until you inevitably go on to something else. It was released back in 1970, um, the era I belong. It's very sort of chilled out throughout the verses, but it's got a really good hit with the chorus when it goes, It's all right, Lady Eleanor. My ears. I'm just taking the piss now. But it's a really, really good track, even though my demonstration would lead you to believe that it's crap. It's definitely one to go check out if you've not heard it before. And it deserves a number two spot on my current top five list. And at number one, we have an old classic. Now, this is the sort of song you remember, but you don't remember the track title or who it's by. And it is called Begging by Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. It's such a feel-good track, but at the same time, there's a little bit of lost soul feeling going on in the song. It was released back in 1978. Again, my era. I mean, Frankie Valli's got one of the best voices you could ever hear. I think he's a fantastic vocalist. And, interestingly, in the Four Seasons, the drummer often sings as a solo, which is quite unusual. Only really Phil Collins and Susie Q have been famous for doing that. So, an interesting fact that none of you really gave a shit about. Did you seriously forget Dave Clark and Ringo Starr? Are you on drugs today or something? I mean, all of these songs I think are great, but I will go in phases of listening to them on and off, on and off. Like, sometimes I'm feeling Pink Floyd, sometimes I'm feeling Tchaikovsky, sometimes I'm feeling... Little Mix and I'm not... Um... But yeah, there's a real range of songs there and you can really see just how eclectic my taste is. I can listen to almost anything as long as it's not grime. So I hope you enjoyed that list. I'm going to be doing these top five favourite songs every other month. I don't want to bore you too much. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And I shall see you all again very soon.